What's up guys, it's Meaty Mike. My name is Mike and I love meat. Fire up your smokers, because today we're throwing in a camel meat loaf. Let's do it. Hump day! Mike, 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 Mike. We have ourselves some fixings here for some camel meat loaf. Now, camel meat ground is very similar and comparable to ground beef. So treat it like ground beef when you're cooking this meatloaf. As far as ingredients go, we want to give it a little bit of a flair for camel. So I'm changing it up a little bit with the spices. So we're going to jump right into our meatloaf here. I have one chopped small yellow onion, one rib of celery, half of a red pepper, and just a little bit of cilantro for freshness. Mix it all up. Now, we're gonna add our spices. So we're starting with a mixture of two teaspoons of salt, cumin, mint, and paprika. Put in your meat. Mix it up. Then we got a mixture of half of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, black pepper, cinnamon, and ginger. Some good spices to go with our camel meat loaf. Then we got three tablespoons of some minced garlic. Now we got a cup of panko breadcrumbs. We got half a cup of coffee barbecue sauce. It's store bought, but the coffee in there, it's gonna give it again, a nice little flavor that'll go with those spices. It'll be delicious. Mix it up. Last but not least, two eggs. We are going to crack. I didn't get any shells in there. Now again, one more good mix to get all your ingredients together. All right, good stuff. Now we got to form our meatloaf into a meatloaf. Use whatever pan you want to use, anything like that to get your shape, but I'm just gonna shape my own damn self. And hey, if I do say so myself, that's not too shabby. So you've got your camel meatloaf together, you put all your spices in your ingredients, you formed your loaf shape. We're gonna put this back in the fridge for a couple hours, let it hold that shape so when we put it in the smoker, it doesn't fall apart. In the meantime, we'll get our smoker fired up, then we'll go put this puppy on. All right, so our camel meatloaf has been sitting in the fridge for two hours, nice and firm. At this point, if you had it in a loaf pan, take it out. We want smoke cover on all sides. I have one of these grill toppers laying out, so I'm putting it on here, but you can put it right on the rack or on a piece of tin foil. Let's go pop it in the po man. All right, y'all, we got our po man grill fired up. I got it running at 275. Threw some hickory wood chunks on top of that charcoal to get that good smoke flavor. Got my ink bird monitoring our temps. Again, we're treating this like beef. So for camel, we're looking for an internal temp of 165. It's gonna take you about an hour and a half to two hours, but pay attention to your internal temps. And when it hits 165, we will pull it and eat. And at just shy of two hours, our camel meatloaf is complete. The po man grill does not mess around. Beautiful color on this meatloaf, it smells awesome. So to top it off, we're gonna go with some Cattleman's Carolina Tangy Gold. This gold barbecue sauce is gonna go great with the camel and the spices that we have in there. You can put this barbecue sauce on at any point during your cook to let it caramelize and cook with the meal, but I'm just gonna put it on right at the end. Just give a good line and then brush it down. And that is just gorgeous. Camel meatloaf. We're gonna cut right into this. Still nice and juicy. Look at that. A beautiful smoke ring. We're diving right into this camel meatloaf. This is an eggshell. Hopefully I didn't get any shells in there. 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 Yup. If you get it. <laughs> That is really good. The cumin, the cinnamon, the cilantro. You put this tangy gold barbecue sauce on top. Again, this camel, it cooks like beef, but it's a little bit more lean and it tastes like a mixture of beef and lamb. 
This is definitely gonna be one of the most unique loaves you ever smoke. It's one of the best meal loaves I've ever had with this unique blend of spices, with the tangy gold Carolina sauce, that hickory wood. Man, this is special, you gotta try it out. Throw it in, let me know how it is. Stay tuned for the next video.